In this video, you will learn how to manage milestones in placard boards. Milestones can be used to mark specific stages of your project, for example, initiation, execution, planning, control, and closing phases, or to mark specific timeframes, for example, Sprint 1, Sprint 2, and Sprint 3, when you're using Agile project management methodologies. You can set the milestones in Placker by clicking the title of your board, going to Milestones tab, and creating the milestones, for example, Sprint 1 and Sprint 2. Usually it's a good idea to keep one different color to each sprint. When you're done, close the window and notice that whenever you click a card, you can click Show Empty Attributes and set a milestone. Or, if you want to set the milestones automatically, you can click the title of the board, go to Milestones tab, and select the start date and end date of each milestone. For example, Sprint 1 will start February 1st and end February 15th, whereas Sprint 2 will start February 16th and finish February 28th. Click Assign Cards and select every card that has a plan end date in that period. Do the same thing for Sprint 2, and this will give you the number of cards and the completion of each one of them. Also notice that the cards now have a flag icon with the color of the milestone that you have selected. Milestones can be very useful to group specific cards and to create targeted dashboards and Gantt charts. Another option is to add a Gantt milestone, which is a different type of milestone. In this case, we can click Gantt and click the plus sign to add a card to Done and add a card called Project Initiation. Notice that Project Initiation isn't actually a task, but we can click it and set it as a milestone to view clearly in your Gantt chart when your project starts. To do that, scroll down and set the type to Gantt Milestone. This will automatically format the Project Initiation in a diamond shape so it's clear that it's a Gantt Milestone. 